Right, I've uh, done a wee bit of work on this, the Hun in the Sun group build because basically I just wanted to get something done because it's been a week and I haven't even opened the box to be quite honest and when I did I just uh, got the cockpit seat and joystick in there and the floor and the bulkhead together and then it occurred to me I ought to make this video before I go too crazy. Now, I was going to tell the story that when I first got this kit, focus, focus, all those years ago, um, I'm not sure when it was, I rolled over, dropped the, uh, dropped the canopy on the floor, and rolled over it and wrecked it. Couldn't really find any sort of aftermarket replacement. So I actually sent an email over to Special Hobby themselves. And when I got back, they said, Yeah, fine, we'll, we'll tell us your address, we'll send you a, a replacement. And here's the Yeah, that's. Uh, Possibly beyond repair. That's what happens when you roll the chair over it. And uh, so, yep, within a, a week or so, I don't know if you can't really see in there. A lovely brand new one came packaged up with a nice handwritten note inside it. That's the that's a kit code. I'm not sure what that means because I don't speak Czechoslovakian. I think it means. Uh, enjoy uh, with our pleasure. If anyone out there knows, I'd be, would be interested to know. Um, and having said that, you absolutely cannot fault Special Hobby for doing that. It it was uh, like I say, it wasn't a lost part or defective in the kit. It was me wrecking it, and they were more than happy to send me a new one. No questions asked, which, uh, you know, big thumbs up from me. However, the thing is, in the way of things, I put the canopy safe, because the kit by then had gone into the loft. So I've just spent the last couple of hours looking for it, because I know it's it was with him. 10 feet of where I am now, and where this camera is. Uh, it actually turned up in a box file I've got with that has my old spare decals and that kind of thing in. And uh, what I was doing in there, I have no idea. Uh, speaking of decals, this is the decals that belong to the kit. The other side of that, nice piece of photo etch. That's all good, nice little amount of stuff to make this a, a really nice kit. And I think you know it's going to be like like the stuke I've just made. It's very fine there. It's got very fine panel lines on it, like the stuke. If you can really see. A really nice detailing. What we've got there. Very nice. Looking forward to this. And there's the. Uh, this one is this. Two sets of propellers. So I'm not 100 percent sure what goes with what, and actually two rudders as well. Which look the same at the to me at the minute, but we'll see when we start getting further into the instructions. So there we have it. I've uh, put my foot down on this and made the start. Uh, don't know when I'll get any more time on it because it's life's a bit hectic at the minute. But there we go. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to getting this built. Um, I'm also in the RAF group build 
so I'm gonna have to sort something out for that well I have sorted the kit out I just need to open the box and start building it um, so there they are then we're up and running in this group build so hopefully there'll be a bit more progress next time and I'll see you later